This one is really funny. Uh, Tesla has come up with a way to extend the range on their cars. Uh, why don't you just haul a trailer with a battery <laughs> attached to it, a giant solar panel, oh, and a Starlink satellite just for good measure so you can sit in the parking lot, surf the internet while charging your car. <laughs> An interesting concept. Um, this this sounds like a project that that Electro Boom would come up with, or uh, Tom Stanton would come up with, or like this. This looks like a YouTuber's dream concept of like, could I? Ext um, who was the one who hauled a bunch of generators on the back of his Tesla? Uh, that there was a car YouTuber who did that. I think it might have been Rich Rebuilds that that hooked up like a an 18,000 watt generator to the back of his Tesla, just like this giant G diesel blower right. generator. And he goes, yeah, we'll drive it to where we need to go. And then we'll fire up the diesel generator and charge it. <laughs> See, <laughs> well, but then you got some added weight. So you'll get less, you get less fuel economy. Less, plus less you're burning economy. diesel. <laughs> right. Yeah. Going up that way. <laughs> Uh, that would be that would be pretty. I mean, it would be interesting to see. Well, for one, how long it takes to recharge your car from solar panels. I know that takes longer. Um, but yeah, like you said, well, you got Starlink, and you can just hook up your Netflix and sit there and watch a couple movies. Yeah. While you're waiting for it, I, it's probably great for camping too. You could take your Tesla camping with that thing in the back. What would be better is if they had storage on it, so you could put your tents and stuff back in there. Right. Then you have it. Unpack it when you go camping. Your Tesla's getting charged up. You, you've got Starlink, so you can watch a movie at your campsite. There you go. And then when you're done and ready, Tesla should be all charged up. You can get back in and go out the next day. That's right. Um, I will say, we bought a, uh, a Toyota Sienna Hybrid. And mm -hmm. there's two things that I hate, and it's minivans and hybrids. <laughs> but, I, but I find myself loving this van the more we own it. Because it gets 35 miles of the gallon. Um, it's super low maintenance because your engine only turns on when you're, uh, going above like 35 miles an hour. It can do straight EV for 20 miles up to like 45 miles an hour. Um, oh, it's, uh, it does 600 miles on a tank of gas. Uh, and it's only like a 17 gallon tank or something like that. Um, like it's really, really impressive what it does. Plus it has a 1500 watt, uh, inverter built into it. So mm -hmm. you, it has like a 15 amp circuit in it that you could just, it's got outlets in the rear of it that you can just nice. plug in and, and plug you've in got like in. days worth of power. Uh, nice. so, so yeah, if like our power goes out, I've got a, um, gosh, I want to say it's a 7,800 watt generator here. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's 7,800 Watts. Uh, yeah. it's a, it's a propane generator, which I really like. Cause there's a propane fill station right down the hill from me. And so super easy to get refills. I've got, uh, four 30 gallon tanks here and I'm looking at getting a couple hundred pound tanks, uh, before too long. Um, just in case power goes out, you know, I want to keep the sumps running and fridges oh, yeah. and things like that. Dude, I can run the fridges just off my van. <laughs> <laughs> Just got an extension cord coming from your van down into your house. Yeah. <laughs> What's like, going on there, guys? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Yeah. I'm using my car to warm my house. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. And it, it drives great. Uh, it, it drives like a crossover, not like a minivan. It, it doesn't right. feel like, you know, you're sitting on top of the front axle and, you know, driving a bus. It feels like a crossover. Um, mm -hmm. and, and it drives well. So... But yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to extend the range of your Tesla, just hook up a trailer with a set of batteries and a solar panel, and then while you're waiting four days for the sun to charge it, uh, you've got internet. So yeah, that's right. There you go. You can catch up, catch up on everything on the internet you want. Yeah. Uh, we do have a couple super chats to jump back to. Denver sends over five dollars. Thank you very much, Denver. Uh, you kid, but this should be faster than L1 charging. L1 charging is normally uh, 700 to 1200 watts. This looks like 1600 watt of solar panel uh, and greatly increased drag. Uh, talking about the yeah. Tesla charger. That's yes. Charge, yeah. <clears throat> I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. In theory, this could be top end level one or level two charging. Um, 
So you're not going to get level three. You're not going to get supercharging. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, 1600 watts of peak. It could definitely be up there. Although they're advertising 1600 watts. It's probably in the neighborhood of like 1200 concurrent or 1200 sustained wattage. Uh, so I, I'm guessing a high end level one charger. Uh, Ryan Sharp sends over $5. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, full down all the seats and have a mobile LAN party. Uh, talking about my van. Uh yeah, actually, the thought crossed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> a mobile land party. Yeah, you can then you can like uh, get the uh, Tesla trailer and hook the car up to it so it charges the there car. There you go, sixteen hundred watts. Yeah, I got, there you go. I got thirty amps behind me. <laughs> yeah. 